gets sporty chic. You guys can let me know. I know, we went through shades of gray. I just really want an excuse to put the dress back on. Fine! Woo! I may actually just hyperventilate and die right here on the floor. Well, hello and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we have a very special video for you. We have just finished filming, Louie and I. He's hanging back there and has been snoozing through today's video. Uh, we have been styling up long coats. I'm only gonna do my long coats because we did an entire video. We've shown you blue, we've shown you light cream, we've got a camel, we've got black, we've got uh, all different types of materials, all different style coats, and I'm gonna show you some really fun outfit ideas, everything from if you're running out of the gym and you're wearing your workout gear, to if you're going to a more formal occasion, and I'm gonna show you all different ways to style up your coats and give you lots of ideas, and I hope that you will love it, you'll wanna hit subscribe and hang out with us, I hope it'll load you up on lots of ideas, and I think that you're going to love it. So yes, make sure you hit subscribe, we're almost at 25,000 subscribers, subscribers on our new channel. It's so exciting. I can't wait to jump into today's video. I think you're going to love it. So let's get started. Okay, so for starters, today has been a crazy day. It was a little bit hectic around the house because we've been having our house painted for the last few weeks and it's finally almost done. A few touch-ups left to go, but we're almost there. But the guys came to move all of the stuff back onto the deck because we have these planters that are like 300 pounds and Jack and I just cannot move them on our own. So we had the movers come, uh, they're amazing, and they helped us move a bunch of stuff. So I was up early and my throw on outfit was my favorite sweater I've been wearing nonstop actually from, this is the one from Banana Republic and I even have underneath the little turtleneck. It was chilly this morning, okay? It was very chilly this morning so even underneath I have an extra turtleneck uh, and a little pair of my coated jeans. I'm even wearing these really cute little, I found these little velvet little, almost kind of like slipper shoes from Ralph Lauren. And I've been wearing them a lot, especially around the house, but they're really, really soft and really cozy. I thought it might be really helpful to show you. If I'm just hanging out at the house, I'm wearing my coated jeans, wearing my favorite sweater, and I've got on my little loafers, and I need to go run to the grocery store, how am I gonna style up my coat? So give me just a second and I'll be right back and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, I am back and I literally just threw on my little coat. I got this one from Karen Millen. They sent it to me a few weeks ago, and at the moment, I actually have the fur off of it because it doesn't get that cold in Atlanta until at least January. And so, yeah, it's not quite there yet, but I love, love this beautiful coat. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's full length, and I've realized about myself that for me personally, I really like for my long coats to hit me about mid shin. I find that's a really good length for me. It's the way I like to see my coats. I typically don't do them like just below my knees, kind of that three quarter length. For me, it just ends up looking usually like maybe it's too long or a little too short. Maybe that's because I'm five foot one, I don't know. But personally, I just really like a long coat. And even though I'm petite, I still go out wearing a flat and a long coat. I'm not that worried. I'm still gonna be short no matter what kind of coat I wear. So I'm not that worried. I just don't want it to look like it's dragging the ground. I definitely don't want it to hit my ankle bone. Those are kind of those points where it gets to look like it's just too big for me. But I do like to buy a coat a little bit more oversized so that I can wear a nice big bulky sweater underneath it if I want to. You wanna make sure that you can actually button it shut. Those are important things because you know it might actually get cold. I've got my little bag here from Anina Bing. I love a little bit of croc. This coat actually has a little tie on it and I wanted to show you. It is fun when these coats come with belts because you can cinch them in. But for me on this coat, it's maybe, it's a really pretty leather. I think it's really pretty actually. But the belt is still, you can see, I'm not gonna keep going. It's still really long on me. So when I've been wearing this instead, what I've been doing is actually just simply taking it and kind of doing like a half knot kind of thing. And just kind of cinching the waist in like this. I can still get my hands 
into the pockets and it's just a little bit more of kind of a casual way of wearing it. I am back and this time I've got an all neutral outfit on, including even the bag. And uh, this coat is actually one I've had since last year. Other Stories is one of my favorite places to shop for coats because they really make beautiful quality pieces and they're actually really affordable. So this is one of my favorites. As you can see, it's got that nice, long length on it again it's still hitting me around that same spot about mid shin i really just like that length so i find myself buying it a lot i love this one because it's got this gorgeous kind of stand-up collar on it i love this style it is nice to have different style coats in your closet it really gives you options just depending on what you're wearing i think this with the turtleneck underneath it is just a really beautiful look as you can see i've got it cinched in yet again i just really like this look it's how i kind of go out i just kind of tug on it and i love to be able to put my hands in my pockets and actually this is the coat that's got the gloves in it. If you don't have leather gloves, this is one of those things that I think everyone should have. I like to just leave them in my pockets. I actually need to order maybe some lighter ones because these are pretty dark for this outfit. And I think actually I'd really like to have some lighter ones. So I need to add that to my, my, uh, my wish list. But I do think that having a pair of gloves is really nice. I do think also just going all neutral with a bag is completely acceptable. It's really beautiful. It's really chic. I did debate if you wanted something with just a little bit more pop, you could go with the Anina Bing little shoulder bag and just add a little bit of pattern if you feel like you just need a little something. Underneath, I've got that gorgeous, gorgeous turtleneck I keep telling you guys about. This is the one from Amazon. I don't even have it tucked. I just kind of have it you know, just kind of pulled over itself. These beautiful pleated trousers are the ones that I bought from Massimo Duty a couple years ago. And I think that an all neutral outfit is just gorgeous. And you can always pull the sleeves up a little bit if it's not as cold out. You can kind of pull your sleeves up, hands in pockets. It's just a little more casual. Then I've also got the beautiful little shoes. You guys know I found these at Zara a few weeks ago. I just think they're a lot of fun. But overall, I think the entire rule that you cannot wear white after Labor Day is absurd. And I think that you can even do it with a coat. You can totally have a winter white all neutral outfit. And I think that it is just beautiful. And I really love it. You guys let me know down in the comments, which of these outfits is your favorite. And I hope you're getting lots of ideas and getting excited about pulling your coats out. I know I am. I'm like, oh, okay, let's see what's gonna come next. I can't wait to see what's next. All right, I am back and this time I am wearing this beautiful overcoat. Now this actually is two different styles in one. So it's that robe style, which I just think is so pretty. I think it's really classic. I don't think it's trendy at all, especially when you do it in a style like this. This one is from an other stories. I will link up all the different outfits. I'm going to link them by outfit and the little pieces down below in the show notes for you. And I always link up the outfits in my LTK app. That way, if you just want to shop quickly and be able to tap on the pictures or the links, it's all there as well. It's just fun to get outfit ideas and everything because I load all kinds of mood boards. Uh, I've got houses, rooms, outfits. It's all over on that LTK app. So I'll leave a link for all those things down below. But this is one of my favorite things that I have stolen from the men's department. And that is the idea of the overcoat. I love a suit. These kinds of coats are perfect because they are meant to be oversized. So this is an extra small from an other stories. And again, I'm a size zero, waist 25, just to try to give you like parameters of sizing and five foot one. I always leave my sizing down below in the show notes for you. I'm looking for the pocket. There it is. <laughs> But I really love to have the overcoat because then whenever you get to wherever you're going, uh, you can just take off your coat and you still have on your blazer. So this time I've got on the blazer that I bought from, this one's from Saks, I don't remember the designer. And then the trousers are really cute. These are from Massimo Duty as well. I love to buy trousers from them. And I've got on the little boot. And I keep rolling the pants. I think we've got to actually just go ahead and have them cuffed. I keep putting them there every time I wear them. So I think it's time to 
make it permanent. <laughs> but I just love it because now when I'm, wherever I wanna go, maybe it's not as cold as it was when I arrived. Let's say I went out to meet a friend for lunch and suddenly it's a little chilly, but I still wanna look dressed up, but I don't, maybe I won't need my coat. Then I can just grab my bag, leave my coat in the car, or if the evening light starts to set in, then I can just grab my coat and throw it over. This is so forgiving. It really is nice. And I think the key to it not looking humongous is to not go so oversized. You just want it to look like it's big enough to go over all your clothes, lift your arms up easily, move around in it. And for me, of course, being petite, I like the look of just nipping it in to the waist with the belt and giving it a little bit of structure. I think that look is just really pretty. And for me, just from an outfit perspective, wearing the little black boot and a little black bag, just kind of mix it up a little bit. And then of course that pulls in a little color from the blazer. And yeah, I just think it's really fun, really chic and sophisticated, but easy. All right, next up we have an outfit that I think most of us can relate to. I've got on my sneakers and my workout gear. And this is an outfit that whether you've just gone for a walk, whether you worked out at home or you're gonna go to the gym, I think we all have black leggings in our wardrobe and a little sports top. I love this one. This is from a brand called Cora and they make the most amazing workout clothing, which is saying a lot because these are the, um, these are the ones from Lululemon. Isn't that what they're called? I can't remember now, but these, I've had these for years. They are amazing. Their leggings really are everything that people talk about. Uh, and again, just having a little pair of little black sneakers on an all black outfit. This is how I used to go to the gym all the time. I usually work out at home, but sometimes I'm working out at home and I realize there's no milk to make my morning coffee. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw on a little jacket, a little coat. I like this coat because it is really casual, but it's still really, really chic. I love the quilting in it. I think that it's really beautiful. I love the fact that it has the little snap closure on it. It's got the belt. This is another one from and other stories. Have you noticed a trend? I have a thing for their coats. I just think they do a really good job and they're super affordable. I just have a little casual coach bag because a lot of times that's what I've got sitting in my car just for every day. And of course, a little baseball cap. And uh, I feel like it's sporty chic. You guys can let me know. I kind of forget about wearing gray. Has anybody, is anybody else guilty of that? I feel like it's one of those colors that got such a bad reputation that we stopped putting it in our houses and we stopped wearing it. But I think that a certain tone of gray can actually be extremely beautiful, really luxurious. And I, for one, have really been enjoying styling up this sort of blue undertone gray because we definitely have that more mousy, brownish, taupe kind of color gray that's out there as well. But this is just a little bit more of a blue undertone and I just love it. It's that same exact style. You guys are noticing, I like these coats to hit at just the right spot. I've got it on today with the little spike shoe. This is the one that you guys saw me find at Zara. I think they're sold out now, but if not, I'll link up to something similar. I just think it's really fun to play a little bit on the metallics of the shoe with a little metallic bag. This is the one I found at Mango. If I'm just gonna be running out to a business meeting or a coffee, this is the kind of outfit that I would totally wear. I would wear this actually to a festive occasion. I might switch out my earring if I was going something super festive. I just have on a simple little pearl today. But if I knew I was going to something more festive, I'd probably just add my big crystal bird earrings that I have or like those bow earrings you guys saw me. If you saw my Amazon live, I got them off Amazon. Uh, but yeah, I think I like a, that would be a lot of fun to also just take this one up a notch. So right now I'm just wearing it tied, robe style if you noticed. This is actually, I was trying to figure out it was the exact same one as the other one. I have a thing for this style clearly. But it's actually great for you to see that overcoat style put over just a sweater and a little pair of trousers. I've also styled this up with the faux leather pants. I think that's so pretty as well. I love it. I think that also I would just throw on, if I was just going to be running errands, I just throw on like, like a little sneaker. I think that would be really cute as well. Uh, but yeah, I think that an all gray outfit is actually a little bit unexpected, but I think it's really beautiful. This little sweater is from Amazon actually. You guys remember when I showed you this with my sister? She took home the cream colored one and I've been wearing the gray one and really enjoying it. Uh, then the little trousers are ones actually that were 
but I've had them for a couple years now from J. Crew. I think that an all gray outfit is really cute. And I think varying a little bit the shades of gray. Mm, I know, we want their shades of gray. Uh, but no, I think varying the shades of gray actually makes the outfit feel a little more interesting and not too monotone-ish. And for me, because of my skin coloring, I think putting the darker of the grays near my face actually just helps my face to just look a little bit brighter. I literally slept like three hours last night. I was so excited about the back deck getting done and them getting here to put all that back. I couldn't sleep, I was so excited. I was designing the entire thing and not sleeping. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, I think it's great, as you guys know, this is my little MO is just to tie it, nip it in at the waist, but even just open. It's just such a cute piece. These are really nice. They're actually quite thin in the fabric themselves, but they, and they're not heavy. Yeah, this is made of 60% wool, 30% 30% polyamide, and 10% alpaca. So that is why even though it's so thin, it's actually quite warm. All right, you guys, prepare to have your mind blown. You ready for this? <gasps> I mean, what? So I have been working with Karen Villain over on Instagram and they very kindly sent me this coat and I just had to show it to you. They actually sent me the whole outfit. I'll show you all the pieces in just a second. But let's chat about this coat. First of all, perfect length. Second of all, it's a big teddy bear. Oh my gosh, with, with leather. Leather accents. What? I mean, how is this even possible? <sighs> yeah, this coat will literally blow your mind. It is absolutely perfection. It is so much fun. It's got the leather trim on the pockets. It's got the leather trim on the belt, up here around the collar, and it is just sassy. I just love it. You could pop that collar up if you got cold and snuggle in it. And uh, wow, it is. It is truly like wearing your favorite blanket. Look at this. Isn't this just divine? And then, and then you open it up and what is this fabulousness? I know, I'm telling you. What? Croc? Faux croc? Faux croc pants? Is this happening? So many good things in one outfit. I, I'm, I may actually just hyperventilate and die right here on the floor. I mean, this is so good, I can't take it. I mean, wow, this just is so much fun. I've got it paired up with the cutest little silver shoe. These are the ones I found at Amazon that are so fun. A little bit of silver. I've got the bag, you guys remember the little bag? I got the little bag that I found on Amazon as well. I loved that that had like a faux, kind of like a, a snake kind of look to it. Really, really cute, really, really fun. Leave it open because you're gonna wanna show off the rhinestones. I gotta show you this real fast. I know this is the coat styling video, but I gotta show you these, this sweater because it is gorgeous. Okay, it's a good thing Jack's not here because he'd be like, what? Okay, I know, I'm freaking out enough for both of us. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I need to get my bra a little situated back there, uh, but actually it's just gorgeous. Look at the rhinestones, look at the bling. This is how I like to do a festive look for the season. You can just as easily throw this on over your sports gear and just go to the gym. This is one of those coats that's really casual or as I've shown you, you can totally dress it up. I think that that is just so much fun and I'm gonna be wearing this all winter. That's what I love is I've got this gorgeous coat. I'm gonna wear it all winter long. Last but not least, today I wanted to show you how to wear your coat for formal occasions, especially if you're going to be wearing a shorter skirt. I typically will leave the coat open if I'm going to be wearing a shorter skirt like this. Today, I have it styled up with a little heel that shows my feet, a little heeled sandal, because we're in Atlanta. So here in Atlanta, we will do bare legs and a high heeled sandal and a coat. And I know some people get very upset about that because they're like, this is wrong. Well, if you're in Chicago, you probably will want to have a tight <laughs> 
and a closed toed shoe. I've also styled it up that way. I love that look as well, but I just, I just really want an excuse to put the dress back on actually because I'm completely in love with it. I love this dress so much. I went out and got the blazer as well. I'm, I'm obsessed. I remember when I was a little girl, my mom, of course she grew up in Chicago. So for her wearing a coat was a really big deal. And so that coat was such a special thing to give to us every every season. And we pass them down and you keep your coats. They're, they're lifetime purchases. So I just, you know, slowly but surely I've invested in my own, added a navy blue this year, added a, one of the little camel ones. I've added the cream and the black and then slowly but surely just start really building up a beautiful closet full of coats. And that way you can have a lot of options because I think a navy blue with this is just absolutely Absolutely gorgeous it dresses it down maybe a little bit but I could also have something heavier over with underneath this I love a little gold bag don't you the little mango bag it looks really cute with the little headband too I just love it I think it's so fun and festive but I typically when I'm gonna go out I don't want to look like I'm not wearing anything underneath this so I typically would not close it unless I'm cold and I'm just going directly in now this coat is my longest it hits me, I don't think I can back up enough, I'll do the little cutaway for you. It hits me almost at my ankle. But that's what I like about this is I think it actually works with a dress like this because even when it's closed, it doesn't look like you're hiding something. You don't want to have a bunch of fabric hanging out below your coat. Like if you have a midi length skirt, you don't want that hanging out from the bottom of your coat. I like for it to basically be about the same length or just a tad bit longer so you can see some fabric. This is something that I'm like, yeah, I, I would wear it out like this because my legs might get cold. So I'm gonna wear a long coat, but I'm probably going to leave it open. And that's how I like to have things that are shorter uh, with a long coat. But if you do need to close it up, of course, just close it up and don't worry about it. Who cares what anybody thinks? If you're cold, you're cold, and you just wrap it up, do the little knot and off you go. But yeah, I think it's really nice to have something that you can wear for formal occasions. All these coats really just pair really well with formal outfits, and I think that that's really nice. They, they're they really something that you can dress up, you can dress down. I really just think that a navy blue is really just, it's softer than the black. It's really sophisticated, but it just feels a little bit softer. It's very chic, and these are all just so cozy that I feel like I could just cuddle on the couch in these. They're just really, really beautiful. They're not itchy at all. I think that's important too, and I think that you guys will love these. So I'm gonna leave a link for all the items that I've shown you today. I hope it's been fun for you. This has really helped me. I've been really stressed out thinking that I don't know how to style up a coat and just talking through everything was so helpful for me. I hope it was really helpful for you too. It's gotten me excited about wearing all my coats and I hope it's done the same for you. I, I'm really glad that I took photos of each of these because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load each of the outfits into the LTK app because what it does for me is when I'm having a hard time getting ready in the morning, I just need outfit ideas and so I'll go over there and I've already just nailed down several outfits I've got an outfit for every coat now I have a couple more I didn't show you today but almost every coat in my wardrobe but I think that's really nice and I hope it'll be a useful tool for you as well if you're struggling to figure out how to style up your coat check out my mood boards because I think it'll really help you and just kind of give you ideas and kind of get the juices flowing and then you just find what you have in your wardrobe it kind of looks like maybe something I have and then of course if you want to shop it the links are there but I think I don't use it just for shopping I I don't I think that's the only purpose for it. It's really kind of replaced Pinterest for me and it's where I'm able to put my own outfits together and it really, I just find it so helpful. So I'm gonna leave all that linked up for you down below in the show notes. I hope you had as much fun as I did and that you wanna hang around a bit, hit subscribe and become a subscriber and you know what time it is. It is coffee o'clock at the house of Valentina. So I am gonna scuttle off and see if I can bribe my husband into making me a uh, peppermint mocha in between his meetings. All right, I will leave you guys with a video suggestion Suggestion. And don't forget, you can also check out our home channel if you're not a subscriber over there. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. What are you doing back here? You've been keeping me company? Have you been keeping me company? You are the sweetest little puppy. You are the sweetest little puppy. Here's your little shirt box. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are the sweetest little puppy. I'm going to give you kisses. Mm -hmm.